Have you ever been so stressed, so overwhelmed that you just completely lost it? And I'm talking about the kind of losing it that's like full on explosion, like dropping Mentos into a bottle of Coke. Yeah, I've been there too. And here's the thing, those moments of snapping, those moments of losing it, they didn't just make me feel and look stupid, they also cost me time and money. But then I learned something. I learned a skill that has completely changed how I handle stress. Now, what I've noticed though, is that this, this trick, what it does is it separates the high performers from all of the other people. And if you can learn to do this, especially when the pressure is on, you're gonna transform how you handle everything. Now I'm talking things at work, at home, and even when it feels like life is coming at you from all sides. Now here's the thing, most of us, when we're under pressure, we react. It's that gut emotional reaction, something happens and then bam, all of a sudden you're angry, you're frustrated, you're probably stressed, and then you say something that you shouldn't, or you do something that you end up regretting. And guess what? It is pretty much completely natural because after all, reacting is an automatic response. It's how we're wired. But the trouble is, is it doesn't help. It feels good in the moment, but it usually ends up making things a lot worse. So the bottom line here is, is when you react, you are giving away your control. So think about it. How many times have you reacted to something in the heat of the moment only to then end up looking back and think, oh, why did I do that? Now, maybe you snapped at, at someone or you made a decision out of frustration and the result, well, you regretted it later on. But what if you could stop that cycle? Imagine if you could keep yourself from reacting in the heat of the moment. What if, instead of regretting your actions, you had the power to handle pressure without losing control? Now, that's a really powerful secret to know, and that's the difference between gaining or losing control. And it's something that I had to learn the hard way. So before I got into the world of entertainment and public speaking, I used to run my own joinery company. Now, this was back in the UK. We made doors, windows, staircases, basically anything that was made out of wood. So small business, big challenges. And I was dealing with everything from finding the right people to managing the projects. And worst of all, also trying to manage the cash flow. And let me ask you this. Have you ever had one of those weeks where it just feels like everything is piling on? The phone, and I'm, and I'm talking about one of those really cool old ones that you used to plug in the wall and it even had a fax machine with it and a curly cable. Uh, showing my age here, obviously. But one of those weeks where the phone would not stop ringing, client, they're wanting their orders, suppliers, they're chasing payments. Those types of moments, they became a really big trigger for me. And every time that phone rang, I felt my blood starting to boil. Now, what I'm about to share with you, I'm not proud to admit, but back then, I used to have quite a bit of a temper. I'd feel this rage that would start to build up inside and I would quite often lose, lose control. I was not a good leader. I wasn't a great person to be around when I lost it. And, and to be honest with you, here, here is the result of all of that stress, these two massive wrinkles between my eyes. I've, I, I have got the proof of a life lived quite stressful when I was uh, in my younger days. But here's the thing, one day I realized just how much of a, how much, how much of a, how much of a douchebag I was being, uh, especially when I got like this. I was, it was a day when I was at maximum stress levels. I had a team member who was off. We had made a window and it was the wrong size and the phone, it just wouldn't stop ringing. And I reckon it's probably about late morning and I was in the office, I was trying to find some details for a job that we were doing and then the phone rang again and instantly I saw red. I yanked the phone out of the wall, ripped it right out, then I threw it onto the floor and I jumped up and down on it like one of those cartoon characters when they're bouncing up and down. It was parts of this phone flying everywhere. The next thing I know, I'm stood outside chucking the remains of this phone into this big skip that we used to have outside the workshop. About an hour later, after I'd driven to the office supply store, spent 79 pounds on a new phone and fax roll, I'm driving back feeling like an absolute idiot. And I started thinking to myself, why, why did I just do that? Is this really the kind of person that I want to be? That reaction, it didn't solve anything. All it did was make me feel worse and probably didn't gain the respect of the people who were around me because some people would see me react in this way. So look, I know how tempting it is to react. We've all been there, but here's the secret. You already have the power to change this. The trick is to create a pause. Next time that you feel your emotions start to rise, the moment that that trigger hits, you need to stop yourself and 
take a breath, count to five, sip some water, whatever it is that you need to do to create some space, to create a pause, to just give yourself that moment so that you can decide to respond rather than react. So remember this, responding, responding gives you control. It helps you stay aligned with your values, it keeps you calm, and it stops you from doing something that you're going to regret later. And it's a skill that anyone can learn. And best of all, the more that you practice this, the easier it's going to get. So the next time that you feel that pressure, that rising frustration, you need to pause, you need to trust yourself because by doing that, you know that you're going to have this. You're going to respond in the right way. So what are you gonna do next time the phone does ring? When you're trying to work from home, but the kids are running around screaming, or when it feels like life is throwing everything at you at once, are you gonna be the kind of person that's going to react, or will you be the kind of person who responds? Now, make no mistake, this small shift, as simple as it might seem, this video has really only told you one thing, and that's to create a pause, to create a space, but this small shift can have a massive impact on your business relationships, your personal relationships, and even the relationship that you have with yourself. You're gonna to start to feel this overall sense of calm once this becomes something which you, which becomes part of your new behavior. So if you found this video helpful, and I, I really hope that you have, even though I've only given you one tip, I hope that you see how powerful this is. If you wanna dive a little bit deeper into mastering the art of your mindset and communication, now I've, I've got a really cool free training. It's called Break the Ice where I show you in 15 minutes how to start a conversation with absolutely anybody. The link will be in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please make sure that you do. And my goal here on this channel is to share with you some tips, some strategies, and some videos that are gonna inspire you to live a life less ordinary. I'll see you in the next video.